question 52. So question 52 uh, looks like it's going to be about biology, but it really isn't. <laughs> this is just pattern recognition. And the more that you try to make this about biology is the greater your risk that you're going to make a mistake um, or that you just won't see where it's going. Because it's asking about a DNA sequence. And sequence here is used just like in the normal use in the English language. What is the order of things? So um, what is the order of the basis is the sequence. So if you did biomed or something and you thought this was about complementarity, then, then you're going off in the wrong direction where, you know, students often will memorize <clears throat> A to T, G to C, two hydrogen bonds for the former, three for the latter. And so increasing the G to C content means that the DNA molecule is more stable, all these things that you normally will memorize and will have no impact for GAMSAT purposes. If you need that information, they'll provide it to you. So this is not about complementarity. This is just what is the order of these bases. And <clears throat> so they specifically say the two fragments represent at least. Now this is the reason for at least. It's because at most the two fragments represent the entire 12 base DNA sequence because at most you'd have this one fragment and then this fragment that would follow it. So if they say at least, that means in the sequence, the order of these bases, there must be some overlap. And so we have to try to determine just through looking at the pattern, how can we organize these, these six base uh, sequences so that they have the maximal overlap and that, therefore we can see what it at least would represent. It is easy to see that AT is common to both of the sequences and so AT we can see an overlap here. Um, so that is one possibility and that would create a 10 base uh, sequence. But um, just, just by looking at the pattern you can see that ATTG also overlaps and that would be more significant and therefore that would create a sequence of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases. And so you see this is just pattern recognition. There's, an, there's no, this has nothing to do with complementarity. This is just to do with the order of the bases and where you can see the maximum overlap of the, of the sequences. And then this would give us the minimum number. And so we have a total of eight bases in the sequence. And that is the total of 12 bases in the entire DNA sequence. And we know because of the overlap that we have been able to identify at least eight bases out of the 12.